today's lesson, I'm going to introduce you to some resources you may never have thought of that are really going to help you fast track your Chinese learning. So in this lesson, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite ways of studying, and that is using a cookbook. And as you look through this book, you'll notice it's all in English. So you may be thinking, wow, how am I supposed to learn from a book that doesn't have any Chinese in it? That's the really cool thing about this book. As you can see, it's printed in China. Now, cookbooks that are printed in China come with a really amazing feature. You can learn vocabulary from every page. For example, uh, what do we have here? Spiced salmon stir-fry. Can this amazing cookbook teach me how to say salmon in Chinese? See, just by pressing, it's going to pronounce salmon for me. That's great. And you want to be careful when you press, uh, just to press for a moment. Because if you press too long, it'll give you an example sentence. Pretty amazing stuff. There's something in here. Ah! Ooh. Chinese crispy spring rolls. I need to order that at a restaurant. How do you say that? Wow, that's cool. And uh, what else we got in here? Oh, those look like awesome little avocado slices. I wonder how you say avocado in Chinese. That's pretty cool. What is this anyway? Huh, for real. That's how you say lime. Okay, oh, here we go. Chicken stir fry. Stir fry. That's a word I'd like to know how to say in Chinese. As you can see, Chinese cookbooks like this one, absolutely what you want. This baby, I believe, is out of print, so you're going to have to be like me. Find it in a used bookstore. Get your hands on one of these babies. Your Chinese learning will go through the roof. Papaya, how do you say that in Chinese? 木瓜. 